Additional funding is being allocated to the development of Phase 2 of the lofts at Southside. The project is part of the Southside revitalization effort and includes the construction of 85 multifamily rental units. 58 of the units will be made available to households earning 60% or below the area median income. During its November 6th meeting, the City Council approved adding approximately $704,000 to the project's contract. $379,000 of that will go toward additional site preparation and infrastructure improvements that have been identified. Another $325,000 is needed to remove excess soil from the site. For more information about the Southside Revitalization Project, visit the Community Development Department's homepage at DurhamNC.gov. The City and NCDOT are going to be studying the future of transportation in downtown Durham. The study is needed because a number of transportation projects, such as the East End Connector, Durham Orange Light Rail Transit, and the widening of parts of Austin Avenue are expected to change how people get around downtown. The goal of the study is to develop a 30-year transportation plan that maintains and promotes a balanced, safe, and integrated transportation system. The system will meet the needs for automobiles, transit, cycling, and walking, while also supporting sustainable development patterns in and around downtown. The city will pay $30,000 of the $400,000 needed to fund the study. The rest will be paid for with state and federal funding. The process for improving and maintaining stormwater infrastructure in Durham's parks, trails, and cemeteries is moving forward. The need for developing such a process was identified after failures over the past decade on various city-owned properties. The first step will be to take an inventory and assessment of the stormwater infrastructure located in the city's parks, trails, and cemeteries. Approximately $658,000 will be spent to do that. The city will then use the results of the assessment to determine the type of maintenance and capital improvement projects that are needed moving forward. The city is receiving national recognition for the way it uses technology to improve residents' lives and the way it operates. The Center for Digital Government is recognizing Durham as among its top cities listed in the 2017 Digital Cities Survey. The survey recognizes cities using technology to improve citizen services, enhance transparency, and encourage citizen engagement. Durham's categories for the cities with a population of 250,000 to 499,999. Durham ranked second in this category. For more information, visit govtech.com. As part of your plans for the holidays this year, you'll want to mark your calendar for the 2017 Durham Holiday Tree Lighting. The event will be held at 6 p.m. on Saturday, December 2nd in CCB Plaza. That's after the city's annual holiday parade and Fun Fest concludes. The festivities will begin at 5 and will go until 7 p.m. with live music. For more information, visit Downtown Durham Incorporated's Facebook page.